Welcome, members of Nate's Board of Governors, government members and elected officials, post-secondary partners, industry partners, donors, alumni, faculty, staff, and students. Thank you all for joining us on this momentous occasion. I'm Erin Chalmers, and I will be your host for the installation of Nate's seventh president and CEO, Laura Jo Gunter. Nate respectfully acknowledges that we are on traditional Treaty 6 territory, an important trading center for the Métis people. Although we would have preferred to host you on our campus in person, following COVID-19 restrictions and protecting your health and safety is paramount to Nate. We are pleased, however, to provide you the opportunity to celebrate with us in this virtual environment. Today is indeed a historic day, and we are so pleased to have you be a part of it. I would like to acknowledge and welcome our speakers. The 19th Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, Her Honor, the Honorable Selma Lucani. Minister of Advanced Education, the Honorable Demetrius Nicolades. Mayor of Edmonton, His Worship, Don Iveson. Chair of Nate's Board of Governors, Ray Pisani. Nate President and CEO, Laura Jo Gunter. Nate's Student Association President, Jerry Lynn Kaltoniski, Alberta Union of Provincial Employees, Local 38 Chair, Ray Walmsley, and Nate Academic Staff Association Chair, Gary Wilson, and Vice President of Communication at Sandvik, Coromont, Bjorn Rudsant. We have much to share with you over the next 30 minutes, including Laura Joe's keynote address. I'd also like to ask everyone, if you haven't already, sign the guest book in the link below on your screens and share your personal message for Laura Jo. As we gather here today, it is important to acknowledge Nate is located on Treaty 6 territory, which historically means that leadership lessons from the Cree, Diné, Blackfoot, Salto, Nakota Sioux, and the Métis have guided this territory. We respect the history and culture of all First Peoples of Canada as we continue to consider Nate's position both in history and in the future. We will pay close attention to lessons from the past and those included in Nate's Four Directions document. This includes the grandfather teachings of love, respect, bravery, truth, honesty, humility, and wisdom. We now begin our program with a prayer from Nate Elder, Verna Orr, and the performance of an honor song by Monty Sunchild. Naskumun, mumuta kabi, mamsiro taka oyan de bibiks ko yan. Stimau, dahunau. The big squeeze to Maguia, a hill. Our Unigano, Kawi Majestad Laura Joe, his hazard, Kawi Niganista, a hill giveaway. Quiesk Dotaman, a hill giveaway. Quiesk This weeping git. I see no how he saw her moat. In a sixteen, a hoho, a hill, quiesk, a wee. Quiet this is Tiggy, Kahi, quit and buy that quiesk. How not Tawi, Dr. Madden? It's soon. See what soon. Puni Tamagion, and that's it too. In his soon. Mina, to Abatamaka, Misty Kisaga with me as ago. No homag no soma kisto with a gaboy stone and picks with the moon and gave away with a mag no Tawi. Excuse muna nga kiyagi wa ikaw ay sa tamyo pa ika o hisis tigyo na si mao no tawin intaho na o excuse tama ko yah nas kumon misito mahtao gawa patihia kia hamjam naman matsun nas kumon misito mahtao gawa patihia sa mina. Maga Muha Kigwe Naspas and Quitsi Himuna no Tawi Kahiagi, we mew by you no se huma, or how we nigan is the Kahiagi, we got Quitsi Himuya. 
nas kumun ego tagi nas kumu ya mantu or sui hune Thank you, Verna and Monty, for your blessing. It's truly an honor for me to be here and celebrate Laura Jo Gunter as Nate's seventh president and CEO. I am very proud to represent the alumni community as a graduate of the radio and television program and also as a member of the Alumni Association Advisory Committee. Nate has a significant role in educating and preparing its graduates for careers in business, health, skilled trades, science, and technology. I can personally speak to the impact the institution has made on my life. Nate is where my passion for broadcasting was nurtured and where my skills and abilities were strengthened. Today, as co-anchor on the Global Edmonton Morning News, I put my skills to work each and every day, both on and off the air. Naturally, when I was asked to join the Alumni Advisory Committee, I was eager to give back to the institution that has given me so much. Now I'm looking forward to working with Laura Jo to further engage the alumni community. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Her Honor, Selma Lucani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, followed by the Honorable Demetrius Nicolades and His Worship, Mayor Don Iveson. Thank you, Erin, and hello to all members of the Nate family, including staff, students, alumni, board, and industry partners. I am very pleased to welcome Laura Jo Gunter to her new role as the seventh president and CEO of Nate. It is clear that her impressive contributions of strengths as a post-secondary leader, private sector leader, and entrepreneur are a perfect fit for this great Alberta institution. Nate is a place where students find the combination of real-world experience and exceptional skills that they need to enjoy rewarding careers and to offer a lifetime of contributions to our province. The enduring power of education is something that I know about firsthand. My husband Zahir and I were expelled from our native Uganda in the 1970s when all citizens of South Asian descent were forced to leave. We lost everything of material value, but no one could take away our education, which was the lasting gift that carried us forward and eventually brought us to the province and country that we are deeply happy and proud to call home. Institutions like NATE are essential to the goal 
of ensuring that all Albertans enjoy the gift of a strong education and the opportunities they need to succeed. I'm looking forward to seeing President Gunter build on Nate's long history of enriching the lives of Albertans through excellence and innovation in education. I very much hope that I'm able to visit with everyone at Nate in person one day soon. Until then, congratulations to our new president and thank you all for your ongoing contributions to our province. Thank you. Please stay safe and well. As Minister of Advanced Education, it's my honor and privilege to congratulate Laura Jo Gunter on your installation as Nate's seventh president and CEO. Laura Jo, we've certainly gotten to know each other over the past uh, year and a half, and I've really been inspired by your dedication to trades and apprenticeship learning, and I'm confident that by bringing this expertise to Nate, you will help move the institution forward. Once again, just want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to you and to the entire Nate community, and I look forward to working with you to achieve better results for our students and for all Albertans. On behalf of Edmonton City Council, I'd like to extend my congratulations to Laura Jo Gunter on her appointment as President and CEO of Nate. As our city continues to grow, it is imperative that we retain and grow a skilled and educated workforce so our city can compete. Many students learn valuable skills that they will need to succeed at Nate and skills that will make them ready for their careers. And Nate alumni contribute greatly to the diverse innovation and entrepreneurship that fuels Edmonton's economy and makes our city such a great place to live and do business. They leave Nate with the knowledge and the ability to make good choices that will benefit not only themselves, but the broader community. And Laura Jo has an impressive track record as an effective leader and someone who's passionate about people. And these are qualities that will ensure her success at Nate and help ensure the continued growth of this important institution. So once again, congratulations, Laura Jo. I look forward to watching Nate's bright future flourish under your leadership. Thanks to each of you for sharing your special messages congratulating Laura Jo. The Nate community appreciates all that you do to ensure students continue to access a strong polytechnic education and ensure that graduates are well prepared to make an impact here in Alberta, Canada, and beyond our borders. Ray Pisani serves as the chair of Nate's Board of Governors. As a proud Nate alumnus, he has played a key role in supporting the Institute's advancement as a leading polytechnic. I'd like now to turn things over to Ray. Hello, my name is Ray Pisani. I am the chair of Nate's Board of Governors, a proud graduate and alumni of the Institute. I am honored on behalf of the board to introduce Laura Jo Gunter. Nate's seventh president and CEO. As we embarked on the search for a new leader, a search that was both national and international in scope, we were guided by a fundamental question. Who was going to lead Nate into the future while recognizing its foundation of practical hands-on learning? The process began by consulting, consulting with staff, with students and the board on what qualities that leader should have. It ended with the selection of someone who demonstrated those qualities and more, and she was located right here in Alberta. Laura Jo comes to us with many years of experience in post-secondary across Canada, most recently in Calgary. She has a keen understanding of the challenges and opportunities we see in the province today. And she's clearly excited about the positive impact Nate will continue to make, as well as the prospects of broadening that impact. Laura Jo is an innovative leader and brings tremendous strength to the role. In addition to her experience in education, she's a seasoned entrepreneur, having co-founded and led technology companies. She is highly collaborative and values strategic partnerships. She has a pragmatic perspective on contributing to the overall well-being and prosperity of this province. But most importantly, she sees our students, our graduates as essential to that. It is obvious that to her, their success 
is Alberta's success. Laura Jo Gunter is the right leader for Nate today and in the future. And on behalf of the board, it is truly my pleasure and privilege to welcome her to the Institute. Thank you, Ray, for your kind words and for the confidence that you and the board have placed in me as Nate's president and CEO. I am honored to join this great institution. I want to start by thanking my colleagues and Nate's academic and non-academic staff. Despite being virtual, the welcome I received was warm and genuine. We are not physically together, but we are united in our mission to achieve excellence in polytechnic education. And we've shown that in our transition to remote and blended learning during the pandemic. Education and the opportunities it provides has always been valued in my family. My grandmother left home when she was 13 years old because her stepmother would not allow her to continue her education. So she went to live with the minister and his wife because they believed in her talents and her intelligence. My grandmother ultimately became her town's postmistress for 46 years while raising five children. And as her granddaughter, I was the first on that side of the family to graduate from post-secondary education. I've come to Nate because I'm a great believer in the connection between polytechnic education and prosperity. This means enhancing individual prosperity through formal certification or credentials or through upskilling and reskilling programs that lead to better jobs and careers. It also means increasing economic prosperity by providing industry with the talent and innovation that they need to excel. Since Nate officially opened in 1962, it has ensured these needs are met for both our students and our industry partners. We have grown considerably since our start as a trade school, but in these roots, which embody experiential education, rigor, and pragmatic innovation, I see our present and our future. From our start in apprenticeship education, we have expanded to offer certificates, diplomas, and degrees in business, health, and applied science and technology. We have expanded our online and blended academic delivery formats to provide greater flexibility for our students. We are reinforcing our continuing education to address the skills gap. We are incorporating micro-credentialing so that job seekers can make their skills and knowledge more apparent and so that employers can make better hiring decisions. We are investigating and incorporating technology and tools like artificial intelligence, blockchain, and simulations to enhance student learning and services. And because of who we are, we deliver post-secondary education that is engaging and experiential, and that allows our graduates to be productive on their first day of work. Nate is also a trusted partner in economic growth for our communities, governments, and industry. In addition to educating great talent, we are also a recognized and growing capacity in applied research, especially in energy, the environment, and sustainable development. We support our industry partners with a sharp focus on pragmatic innovation that takes ideas through to implementation, whether that means scaling up or commercialization. Just like our alumni, more than 200,000 strong, 80% of whom live in Alberta, Nate gets things done and we make a difference. As Nate continues to grow, we are determined that our future be diverse and inclusive. I am very excited to announce the recent launch of our new equity, diversity, and inclusion strategy to foster safe and welcoming spaces for all people across Nate. It also ensures that our graduates recognize the global significance of equity, diversity, and inclusion in the workplace. I would like to end by recognizing that I am building upon the work and passion of leaders who came before me. I particularly want to thank and acknowledge former President and CEO Dr. Glenn Feltham and former CFO and Interim President Dr. Ray Block for their dedication and vision. I also want to thank the past and present members of our Board of Governors and our executive and leadership teams and staff. Their combined efforts under the guidance of the Board of Governors and with the support of past and present staff and volunteers have helped to create the opportunities that we have today. 
On a personal note, I also want to thank my colleagues, friends, and family for their inspiration, love, and support. In particular, I want to acknowledge my parents, Dale and Joyce, who always encouraged me, my children, stepchildren, and their partners, Haley Rowan, Stuart and Shana, and Laurel and Andre, and my grandchildren, Eric and Holly and Ruskin, for brightening my days, and my husband, Bill, for his never-ending love and belief. Nate is making a difference because we know polytechnic education is the key to a better future. We have the courage to be agile and creative so that we can continue to meet the ever-changing needs for skills and talent. I look forward to the days and years ahead when we can build a better future together for our students, alumni, staff, industry partners, Alberta and Canada. Thank you. Congratulations, Laura Jo. It's so inspiring for me to hear you speak about Nate and your aspirations for the future. On behalf of the Alumni Association Advisory Committee, it's such a privilege to congratulate you on your installation as president and CEO of Nate, an institution that has made a tremendous impact on the lives and careers of more than 200,000 alumni in 97 countries around the world. Now I'd like to invite some key members of the Nate community to say a few words. It is my pleasure to welcome you, Laura Jo, on behalf of the Nate Student Association to our Nate community. We are so excited to work with you. You have joined our team at a crucial time in our development. With your expansive post-secondary experience and inclusive leadership style, it promises to inspire our students and alumni to succeed. I hope that you feel as we do, the energy of this moment and the anticipation and excitement of new beginnings. Let's work together to bring a positive student experience at Nate. One that encompasses students' mental, emotional, and physical well-being, as well as to prepare students to take their place as essential parts of the diverse Alberta landscape. We look forward to working together on our goals and making our plans a reality. Congratulations again and best wishes. I would like to welcome Laura Jo Gunter to Northern Albert Institute of Technology. AP members are often the first line of contact for Nate's students and are there to congratulate them upon their graduation. We look forward to building a respectful relationship that recognizes the values of our members in areas such as student services, educational delivery, industry solutions, research, and many more. On behalf of the AUP members of AUP Local 38, congratulations, Laura Jo, on your appointment as Nate's new president. Laura Jo, congratulations on becoming the seventh president and CEO of Nate. On behalf of myself and the academic staff, we'd like to welcome you. For over 50 years, NASA members have, with their combined years of industry experience, involvement, and understanding, continue to play a key role in the polytechnic education that is vital and one of the main reasons students attend Nate. I look forward to future collaborations with you and Nate leadership to ensure that Nate remains a leading polytechnic, not only in Alberta, but all of Canada. Thank you, Jerry Lynn, Ray, and Gary. Nate has a long-standing history of working with small, medium and multinational organizations to advance technology-based education and develop innovative solutions. Nate's industry partners are deeply valued for their ongoing investment and friendship. In fact, this facility I'm standing in, the Sandvik Coromont Centre for Machinist Technology, was made possible from one of the institution's most loyal and committed industry partners. Since 2007, Sandvik Coromont has supported the hands-on education of students through the center, as well as through scholarships, equipment, employment opportunities, and much more. I'd like to now welcome Bjorn Rudsant, who brings greetings from Sandvik Coromont in Sandviken, Sweden. Hi, my name is Bjorn Rudsant, and I'm Vice President for Sandvik Coromont, heading up marketing and communication globally. Today, I'm here in Sandviken at our head office, and I'm here in the Sandvik Coromont Center. But today, I would like to congratulate you, Laura, to your new position and your new opportunity within Nate. And as you know, Sandvik Coromont and Nate have been collaborating and having partnership for more than 10 years now. Together, we have helped young students to grow and develop 
and we help them to go into the marketplace. Sami Cormant, we have a vision, shaping the future together. And I truly believe that our partnership is a great example of shaping the future together. So once again, big congratulations, best of luck from all of us at Sami Cormant in Canada, in Americas, and also globally. You're very much welcome to any of our offices and Sami Cormant centers. And one day I hope to see you here in Sami as well. Best of luck. Thank you, Bjorn. As we close today's program, I want to thank you all once again for attending. Don't forget to sign the guest book in the link below to share your congratulations with Laura Jo. We hope to see you all again on Nate's campus one day soon, once it is safe to do so. From all of us here at Nate, please stay healthy.